Welcome to Fundamentals 101. Number one, listening to your body is key. By listening, I mean when your body stops in a certain position, note it, let it stop there. Or if it wants to get out of a position, move out. Let your mind meet your body where your body is, not where your mind wants your body to be. With this called body awareness, let your body be your guide. Ask yourself, what muscle is the shape working? Where do I feel it? And how does it feel? If a position doesn't feel good, it probably isn't good for you. This is where making the poses work for your body and not your body work for the poses is most important. I encourage you to adapt a pose, which I'll talk you through throughout the program. Number two, if you think you're not strong enough or flexible enough to start yoga, you probably are looking at it from the wrong perspective. Yoga makes you strong and makes you flexible in your own way for your own body. We all have different bodies, different skeletal shapes and muscular ranges of motion, which will affect the way we are in poses or whether we can even get into the poses or not. We will all look different in the poses and there is no right pose. Make the pose work for your body, not the other way around. As long as you feel your body is not hurting and you can feel the stretch or the exercise, you're on the right track. Number three, clicking joints are actually normal, but pain is not. Never ever push through pain. Number four, warm ups are crucial to prevent injury. So go ahead and do your warm up video before each of the videos. Number five, if you do feel like you are injuring yourself, Back up a few steps. Do a little less and ease your body into this new way of moving. Hurting comes from doing too much, too soon, too fast. Number six, equipment essentials. A non-slippery yoga mat and support like pillows if you don't have yoga blocks. Number seven, this program was built on the foundation that if we progressively load our body and muscles, we gain more strength. And if we repeat, we learn by doing. This gives us more awareness, which is why we'll be repeating the exercises and increasing the load each week. Most importantly, enjoy. If you're feeling a little insecure now and again, or all the time, know that that's what we feel when we start something new. I honestly felt like a baby giraffe learning to walk for the first time in my first class. And that was with a studio filled with advanced yoga teachers. I feel you and you are in the comfort of your own safe space here. If there is someone practicing with you, they most probably feel the same way in the same or maybe even another pose. And you have both seen each other do far worse than not being able to fully get into a crazy weird yoga pose just yet. When the weird thoughts pop up, note to self, everyone is different and on different levels. That's all for now head over to Frequently Asked Questions before you start the program and get ready to feel really good.